Yeah, hi everyone, and uh, yeah, welcome to my latest uh, video where I'm basically going to show you four ways you can fix your missing through hole uh, sort of pads. Um, basically, yeah, what I've got, I've got basically got two pads that are missing there. They're just literally connected to the pin, but they've got no traces coming out of them. That one's got a bit of a trace missing, and that one's also got a trace missing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a wire wrap sort of method around that one there, which is quite a common sort of fix that most of you might know. This one I'm going to transpose a pad from another board and that would be basically an invisible fix. Uh, that one I'm also going to transpose the pad and uh, sort of a track coming out of it. So I'll show you how I do all that. And this one I'm going to do another sort of wire wrap method with sort of the lead coming out of the, the wrap and connecting it to the trace sort of at that point there. So I basically give you every option you're going to need on your, on your boards really. Um, luckily with this board I've got all the barrels still there so the solder's going to run down the barrels. That's the main thing when you get a pad missing. If you've got the barrel still there, you know, it's going to be sort of pretty easy to fix it. So what I do, get straight on with method number one. So I'm going to put a basic wire sort of wrap method around that pin there. So let's get straight on with method number one. Right, so let's get straight on with fixing the first missing pad. What I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to put, sort of put a wire wrap around it, which is basically I've got an old resistor lead that I didn't need. And I've literally cut that off and I've wrapped it around this sort of spare pin I had laying around. But you could just wrap it around the end of your tweezers or whatever you can find of sort of the size you need. And I've ended up with a nice circle. So I've got a nice butted sort of joint and it's yeah, it's formed a good size. And that is the size that I need because I've sort of already pre-measured it. So what I'll do, I'll put it on the sort of first missing pad and we'll get straight in with that option. Right, so as you can see, I've now placed the pad that I made out of the resistor lead onto the first missing pad in the corner. So what I'm gonna do now, just gonna grab the outside of my tweezers, just keep it into place. Just add a little bit of flux before you sort of do the first bit of soldering this is just aid it which you, you will need and then basically the first so i preloaded my iron with the first bit of solder this probably some of that's probably going to run down the barrel which is a good thing so it's going to give you a more sturdy joint so what you then do just sort of add a little bit more to your iron and just go again on the top and you're going to end up with a nice joint that sort of matches all the rest of the other joints so as you can see you've got a nice really nice fillet around the top the important thing is not touching the resist around the outside. So that's a good option. So some of it went down the barrel. So that's, that's like I said, that's a good thing. So yeah, that's option number one. Right, so this is where we come to sort of method number two. This is where I'm just going to basically lift this sort of pad off this board. This is an old PCB I've got laying around. And that pad's pretty much the size I'm going to need for the other board. So what I'm going to do quickly, I'll show you how to lift this off and then we'll sort of turn it over, clean it up and I'll show you how to sort of put it onto the other board. The first thing to do is get your scalpel. This actually looks more difficult than it really is. But generally just lift away a tiny bit of the board around it, get you started. Say this is an old board so it doesn't really matter what I do to it. So you've just got to sort of get underneath the pad and just gently... The hardest part about these ones compared to the sort of surface mount pads I've showed you, you've got to actually cut through the barrel. But you can just gently lift it away. So it doesn't really matter what I do to this board because it's an old board. So you, and what you do after, you're going to turn it over, you're going to cut the old sort of fibres and then the old glue away, and then flatten the pad between the pair of pliers. And say so that give you a, a sort of a good basis for we're transposing it onto the other board. So that's pretty much through now. So it takes a little bit of practice this, but once you sort of get the hang of it, it's not too bad. So that's pretty much cut that through now. Just got to just lift that final last piece off. Right, so basically there you go. That's lifted it off, all in one piece. So what you do now, all you've got to do is scratch all them fibers off and flatten it between a pair of pliers. And just for the sake of the video, I've actually sort of done one from sort of a little bit earlier. So as you can see there, that's what I'm looking for now. I've got that pad. I've cleaned all the fibres. I've flattened it between some pliers. And so I can turn that, the one I've lifted off there, all in one piece. I can turn that into that pretty quickly and then say we transpose it onto the other board. All right, so we now come to sort of fixing the second pad um, out of the four that I'm going to do. It's this one in the corner. So as you can see, I've sort of transposed the pad across from the from the other board to the, to this one. Um, so what I've done, I've rested it on the top just so you can see it clearly. 
So what I do now, just push that down onto the pin. And again, the important part about this is you don't want you want a gap around the outside, basically. Um, so the, you know, so it don't short out on the uh, on the plane going round. So you make sure you've got a gap between the pad and the resist around the outside. So that's basically in place now. So what I can do now is get a little bit of flux. So flux is is pretty important when you're doing this because it's really going to aid the soldering. Just put a little bit around around the joint. So I've already preloaded my iron with a little bit of solder. So basically what you do, just hold the outside edges with your tweezers and just add the first sort of bit of solder. And that will basically keep that pad in place. So you've got a gap around the outside of the resist to the new pad. So I'm just going to add a little bit more solder to this, just so it matches the other joints. So I'll just put a tiny bit more flux. And this is pretty much an invisible fix. So if you, yeah, if you need need to do a really good sort of fix that isn't sort of uh, isn't seen, this is a way to do it. So just basically, and there you go. What I do? I'll give that a quick scrub so you can see it clearly. I'll put a few photos up afterwards. Um, so you know you see the first two options. Then I'll go on to the other two. Just get rid of some of this sort of flux for you, so you can see that clearly. So there you go. That's basically that joint is going to match all them other joints around. So that and the pad sort of flat to the board. So that's a good stable fix. So that's number two. So now we move on. We had a bit of trace missing as well. So one down here. So what I've done, I've lifted this off another board, this piece of pad and trace. Um, so all you do, do exactly the same as how I got that one off, but you just extend it beyond the trace and break it to the point where you need it. I just normally score across it and then it breaks at that point. And you can match it up exactly to what you need. So basically all I do then is push that into position. I've scraped back a little bit of the new part and the existing trace. So you can put a little bridge across there and then you can do this joint exactly the same as I did that one. So the first thing I do, again I get a little bit of flux. Um, just go across that, with what we do, we start with the little joint at the, uh, at the traces. I've already preloaded my iron with a little bit of solder. So what I do first, just bridge that across. So you've got a nice little join across there and that will hold that in position for when you do the main pad. So what I do now, okay, again I put a little bit of flux around the main pad. And what you're looking for here is a similar fillet to what you've got there. So it's this again is an invisible fix in a way, apart from the little join across the trace. So what I do, preload my iron, just hold that down with your tweezers and you've got to do this quick. Again I put a little bit more around it just to get that bit round the back. And you should you, say so you're looking for exactly what you've got on the other ones. This might take two or three goes because some of it's running down the barrel, which is a good thing. So like I said earlier, the barrels are still there, which is the main thing. So what I do, it's almost all the way around now. So there you go, you've got a nice fillet around the joint. You've got a bridge across there. So what I do, I clean all this up. I'll take a couple of photos. Then we move on to the sort of method number four. Sort of pad number four that's got had some damage. So basically what I've got here, this is one where I had the pad missing and the sort of trace missing, but this is quite a thin trace, so I've had to use a slightly thinner wire. So what I'm gonna do is push it into position. I've already, just for the video's sake again, I've tinned the trace and uh, basically already shaped the wire. I've got a sort of join there so it butts up nicely to it. So I'm going to do, yet again, add me flux. Like I say, you must use flux for this. It's quite a difficult one. This is this is going to take two or three goes because the wire is quite away from the pin so I can see quite a lot of solder going down in there. So basically, just put the first one on. I'm just going to add a tiny bit more to that just to match the other joints and then what I do then I'll just 
join the other end and we should have a nice so that that should do it for there just what i'll do now just tweak that across just to line up with the trace what i could do then if i just put a tiny joint on there that should sort of finish that all off you've got to do this quick so the first end don't melt so there you go you've got a nice join down this end basically yeah you've got a nice join there you've got a nice sort of matching pad to all the others and uh, so that's sort of method number four and as you can see the first three sort of options look really good and obviously that's number four so i appreciate like there's difficulty sort of levels in these that are sort of from easier to hard so yeah hopefully there's something for everyone here so what i'll do i'll clean this up take a few pictures and uh, i'll put them up after and yeah thanks again for looking and uh, much appreciated and what i do i'll put a few more videos up in the near future so thanks again